Some argue that electric trucks are worse for the environment than traditional diesel trucks, while others claim there are far cleaner alternatives. But do electric semi-trucks truly live up to their eco-friendly reputation, or is there more to the story? Stick around as we uncover whether electric trucks really are better for the environment, what the manufacturers are not telling, and much more. First, let's explore why electric semi-trucks might pose environmental challenges. One significant argument against electric trucks is the environmental impact of their battery production. Are these claims true? Unfortunately, yes. The initial environmental footprint of current electric semi-truck production surpasses that of traditional diesel engines. The large batteries used in electric semis are made with lithium, a raw material that requires mining, a process producing significant greenhouse gases. The demand for lithium is growing, and estimates suggest over 125 million electric cars might be on the road by 2030. On average, it takes 52 metric tons of CO2 to produce an electric semi-truck. In comparison, traditional diesel trucks generate around 25 metric tons of CO2 during production. So, the battery-powered electric vehicle production generates roughly double the climate impact. However, new technologies and inventions keep arising, and the manufacturer claims that electrified vehicles can achieve a potential reduction of around 90% when charged with low-carbon electricity. But this is not the case as of now, and most of the impressive numbers from the electric manufacturers are of future expected results and not present ones. Now, let's talk about the dirty side of clean energy. More than half of the world's lithium supply comes from the Lithium Triangle, an area between Chile, Bolivia, and Argentina. The extraction of lithium, often through methods like open-pit mining, contributes to habitat destruction, soil erosion, and deforestation, adversely affecting local ecosystems and biodiversity. Moreover, lithium mining is water-intensive, and in regions already facing water scarcity, the increased demand for lithium extraction can exacerbate water stress, impacting local communities, agriculture, and wildlife. The recycling process for lithium-ion batteries is not yet efficient, posing challenges like storage and the risk of fires in facilities processing old batteries. As the electric vehicle industry evolves, these environmental impacts are expected to improve. Furthermore, are other alternatives on the way such as solid-state batteries, sodium-ion batteries, magnesium-ion batteries, and various others. But their adoption will depend on factors like cost-effectiveness, scalability, safety, and overall performance. But what about the grand total? In a lifetime, does an electric semi-truck really leave a smaller carbon footprint than a diesel truck? Despite the higher initial environmental footprint of electric semi-trucks, they make up for it by producing zero emissions during use, of course, if the electricity they charge is 100%, which most of it is not. However, the calculation is way more complicated than at first glance. Truck manufacturers often make claims about a significant reduction in CO2 emissions, around 30%, over a vehicle's lifetime when transitioning to electric trucks. However, they lack specifications about gross weight, weather conditions, driving style, and so on, which makes it very difficult to compare properly. Moreover, it's crucial to factor in the potential charging time during which your vehicle remains stationary when making these calculations. Consider whether the same task can be accomplished with an electric truck, or if additional vehicles or personnel need to be acquired. This consideration significantly influences the overall outcome. But if what manufacturers promise is true, it seems that an electric truck will overtake diesel trucks in CO2 savings throughout the lifespan of the truck. But millions of electric cars are being sold and used. Why not make the same change on trucks? A passenger car and a truck are fundamentally incomparable, each serving distinct purposes and having disparate requirements. For instance, the scale and power demands inherent in electric semi-trucks necessitate larger and more potent batteries, thereby intensifying the environmental impact of their production. Moreover, trucks demand significantly higher power outputs, possess considerably greater weight, and entail extensive safety measures. They must endure diverse environmental conditions, withstand temperature fluctuations, haul substantial weights, 
and withstand impacts, all without the risk of catching fire or collapsing. The batteries utilized in electric trucks remain notably expensive, with costs reaching up to $35,000 each, and these trucks typically carry up to six of them. The electric vehicle landscape is dynamic, witnessing continuous advancements in battery technology, recycling processes, and sustainable sourcing practices. As the industry matures, there is an anticipation that the environmental impact of both electric passenger cars and semi-trucks will ameliorate. But what about the charging infrastructure? Is it sufficient? The successful integration of electric vehicles, especially semi-trucks, requires a robust charging infrastructure. Currently, the availability and efficiency of charging stations for heavy-duty electric vehicles remains a challenge. One of the biggest challenges is due to the high power requirements. Heavy-duty electric vehicles, such as semi-trucks, often require higher charging power due to their larger battery capacities. Establishing charging stations with sufficient power capacity to support these vehicles can be technically challenging and very costly. Further, while advancements have been made in fast charging technologies, charging heavy-duty electric vehicle batteries can still take a considerable amount of time. This also places demand on the number of chargers and space, as the large trucks have to stay there for so long and are unable to just fill up the tank in one minute as in a passenger car. Addressing this infrastructure gap is crucial for the widespread adoption of electric semi-trucks as a viable and sustainable solution. The journey towards sustainable freight transportation through electric semi-trucks is more complex than first anticipated. While the potential benefits are significant, the current challenges in battery production, energy sourcing, and infrastructure must be addressed for electric semi-trucks to emerge as a truly environmentally responsible solution. Right now, we can't say for sure if electric trucks are really better for the environment, we'll have to wait and see. But this uncertainty suggests that new technologies are creating new possibilities. Also, there are other options that might end up being even better for the environment, such as hybrids, hydrogen, gas, and even further improvements on diesel engines. But could redirecting the resources reduce CO2 emission even more? You have to consider the aspect that instead of spending the many hundreds of millions, if not billions, on electrifying trucks, they could redirect the resources on other green alternatives, which could potentially lead to much further reduction in CO2 emissions. This includes things like public transportation, hydrogen fuel cell technology, carbon capture and storage, green infrastructure, and many other more well-developed and already proven solutions where you can get much more CO2 reduction for the money. In essence, the journey towards sustainable freight transportation through electric semi-trucks is an ongoing process. While facing current challenges, the industry's commitment to technological innovation and sustainable practices suggests that, with time and concerted efforts, electric trucks could indeed become a more environmentally responsible solution. And that wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe.